if only the Nobel Prizes were awarded in the summer. That's when Stockholm is at its loveliest. In the heart of the old quarter is the Nobel Museum. The prize founded by Alfred Nobel is the Oscar of Science. Curator Gustav Karlstrand has plenty of anecdotes about the celebrities who have been honored. You work very hard in your laboratory all your life, and at the end, if you're really lucky, you may get the Nobel Prize. And of course, sometimes, some people get the prize twice. Uh, Linus Pauling, for example. Photographs of the more than 800 laureates revolve in a display on the ceiling. Some prize winners have also signed the chairs in the museum cafe like Brian Kobelka and Bob Lefkowitz, who shared the chemistry prize in 2012. Karlstrands shows us the place where the decisions over undying fame in the academic world are made. Every October, committees at the Royal Swedish Academy of Science select the laureates in physics and chemistry. So this is the room where the Royal Academy of Science meet to select the Nobel Prize winner every year. They have a box on the stage and the members go up, put their vote in, and then go down again. We ask to see the famous telephone with which the Academy notifies the winners. So there it is. It has happened that they've got the wrong number, or once they actually got the uh, person with the same name as a Nobel laureate, but who wasn't. He was a truck driver and not a, a physicist. And he told him that he won the Nobel Prize, and he had to decline, sadly. <laughs> This is where the names are made public after the selection. We meet the chairman of the Nobel Committee for Chemistry. His team proposes the laureates, but the final decision is made by the Academy. We always come up with a unanimous decision. Does that usually follow a heated debate? To come to a unanimous decision, there will always have to be a hot discussion. <laughs> Although lots of experts are involved in the selection, it's Sven Liedin's committee that ultimately comes up with the names. Quite a responsibility. For a few days, it gives a rock star status to a few scientists, and that puts the spotlight on science as a whole. And I think that is the important role of the Nobel Prize. In December, the scientists receive their prizes in the Swedish capital. The City Hall, now full of tourists, is the venue of a banquet for more than a thousand guests and it's attended by Sweden's royal family. This is the time when the Nobel laureates can really relax and enjoy their evening, and it's usually an unforgettable night. But now it's summer in Stockholm, and the awards still seem far away. But this autumn, the world will look again to Scandinavia for the announcement of the 2013 Nobel Prizes.